All right, welcome back, everyone. So I, uh, it's been, well, it's gonna be a whole day for you guys um, for the episode, but uh, for me, it's been three minutes. <laughs> so um, I figured out the audio issue. It's just I had to restart the program. I, I hope this is working. I don't know. I'm just going right into it. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, so let's uh, recap. Uh, first of all, sorry about my all my ranting that I did like during last episode. I, I realized that I did like a good ten minutes of like in the beginning of the uh, episode, and then like midway through, I did another. Um, so I, I I don't know how you guys feel about those, but uh, you know that's me. Uh, that's the reason I chose to make videos because I love talking. Uh, I really do. It's it's something that I could do for hours and hours and hours, and uh, yeah. But I'm also a good listener. I, I can be. If it's something that I'm like, I don't want to say like interested in. When there's like when people come to me with their problems and it's just like it has like this really easy solution to it, where I don't know where it's like, you know, this person is maybe doing something that like, you know, they're venting to me because of problems they have created themselves. I kind of like want to like roll my eyes and just be like, oh my god, like I don't care, right? It's like just figure out your life, okay? You're an adult, you know. If this person is an adult, you know. But, um, but most times, you know, if it's something, I mean, if I'm having like a serious conversation with someone, um, you know, usually I'm good about it. So, uh, the the dragon is dead, but it won't bring back my house or ship. So they already know the dragon is gone. It's really a pity. It's really, really just such a shame. I don't know. I guess they're talking about the drunk. Such a shame. Alright, uh, let's stock up on healing breezes. Uh, and let's buy one angel's prayer because we use that as well. So, uh, yeah, and we're already back stocked up. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't say we're overpowered, but this is uh, kind of, we're pretty strong. I'm going to save and then... I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head. I mean, I really love seeing all those colors. I really hated that we had like Congol Spirit, and I was like, there was an empty spot. So I'm really excited, and I really I can't wait to show you guys like Meru's transformation and stuff because it's also really cool. It's the one. It's the one that I like stuck in my mind. Again, I don't know how far I played through this game. I, I keep on trying to remember, but it must have been some weird period in my life because there's so many details of this game that I don't remember and then there's certain things like Mary's transformation that's like so fresh in my mind that I feel like I did it like last year but like I don't remember the the ship ride or the phantom ship or anything like like I don't remember those things so I, I don't know it's really weird that's why I'm always like oh I didn't play this far and then there's like still stuff that that happens where I'm just like yeah I did that last year like I don't know all right Dart, I've heard about you. You successfully defeated the monster on the prison island. And the female, and the female something, bandit, I think. What's wrong? You have a long face. We're ready to go back to Fletz and triumph. We couldn't get the moon dagger back. I like the ocean. Okay. <laughs> Let yourself flow in the waves and winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you would make a good sailor, even a great man of the sea. A man of the sea? Not bad. I can't. I can't. I still have something to take care of. I understand. It's a shame, though. Dart, as soon as you're ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boat. That's a ship. That's not a boat. That's a giant ship. Be ready for departure. And there's Kayla. And I think we can talk to Kayla to depart. Um, yeah, so we're going back to Fletz, guys. We got to tell the king that we didn't, you know, the long phase because we didn't get the moon dagger back. But, um, you know, Lloyd was just like, go, come to Milsuso. Are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Yes. Let's just go. Casting off. Getting ready to cast off. This time, hopefully, we won't have a phantom ship situation going on here, because that shit sucked. No, it didn't. It was actually fun. I like that. Oh, we can move as a boat. Nice. And we have a little door. I don't know what that means. Oh, can I... Oh, okay. 
What is the button? I, I don't, guys, I, I'm not using a PlayStation controller, so God knows what that button is. Huh. Is this stuff I did? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to go back to the world map, talk to me, uh, Commodore Pooler. You got it? All right, and we can walk around on the ship. That's interesting. I wonder if you have, like, again, dialogue with all these people and stuff. I mean, I'm not... There's not reason, no reason to do that. I felt like that was really dragging on in that one episode. Oh, it's not even like that. They're not even around. Okay, we're going back down. The music is great. The music on the ship is awesome. It's super relaxing. Uh, this makes you want to go for, like, a boat ride. You know, and it looks like they're doing it during, like, the sunset or something. Like, it's really cool. I love that. But, yeah, we're not going to look around the ship. I'm sure there's, like, stardust to be collected and stuff. But who cares? Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go back to the world map. Look, Tart, do you want to sail this boat as a practice for becoming a man of the sea? Yes, I want to try. All right, replace the sailor over there. But if you're, if you're not good, he'll quickly take over for you. Is this like a mini game? Or is it just like a way to get back to the... I think it's a way to get back to the world map, but I love that, that they're like... Oh, okay. Yay! Oh, you can meet enemies? Are we going to be on a ship? Oh, we are on the ship. Oh, that's a battle background we didn't see before. They made a whole background just for this, like, short sequence here? That's interesting. Alright. Now that I'm not distracted by the sound, you'd think that I'd be better <laughs> at these. <laughs> I was like, oh, now that I'm not distracted, and I still completely fail. Alright, this edition is really crazy, so I want to, like, kind of pay attention. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it, guys. And then I, like, didn't do it. At all. At all. <laughs> Great, and I killed him. <laughs> wow, that was a fail if I've ever seen one. I was like, okay, guys, I'm gonna do it. And then I failed twice in a row. I'm like, great. That's funny. Uh, 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 uh. I love how the ship's like, blah, blah. All right, cool. We got to see that. That was cool. And we're back in Donau, guys. Pretty, very pretty town. The, fla the flower capital. Alright, cool. With these weird winding staircases, whoever built those, again, crazy, but that's okay. D Hello, lady. It's a nice day today. It's a good day to take a walk around here. So we're kind of so solving... La lady? Lady, let me, let me, let me pass, please. She won't let me. I have to wait for her to walk. God, get out of here. Jesus. Body blocking is so 2000 and late. That's a reference. I've never heard one. There's a flower cup. When I grow up, I'll have a flower shop. For the boys in, in Tiboro, the Queen Fairy is a source of admiration and pride. Yeah, you know, young young boys, they like they're like their cool ships and stuff. Alright. Now we gotta walk through the barrens. That's what they were called. I called them Badlands because there is a oh, I might hear that song. It might remind me of the of the video game I was thinking of. I think it was Terranigma as well, this song. This song kind of reminds me of Terranigma. Uh, reminds me of two different things. It reminds me of Grandia, if you guys remember. The beginning of that song, and anyways. Reminds me of like Grandia when you're in the... I think it's the distorted space. There's like a weird soundtrack that plays there too. Um, in the in the village that was like distorted by... Uh, uh, Whatever the bad guy is, I can't even remember. Is it guy? I don't remember. Okay, look at Mira's hips. She's like, uh, yeah. I don't know. I love her. Yeah, double smack. Uh, I do wanna. If, uh, oh god, it's so fast in a row. Like, holy crap. You make la 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 like just pressing buttons. 
Great. Good job. Good job, me. I kind of want to mess this one up so that I can... Never mind. Never mind. Alright, I really want to level up Gust of Wind Dance. He does just so much damage with it. Oh, did I level up? Wow, okay, he was, he was this close to another level. Wow, what level is he now? Is he like top man? I mean, he probably is because he's the one that we always have in our in our group. Yeah, he's level 23. He's literally out leveling everyone. Congo by one level. Okay, well, whatever. Um, <clears throat> what was I gonna do? I don't remember. I felt like I was gonna do something. I, I felt like I said I was gonna be like do something, and then I got by the by the levels. I got like is that bird still flying around. There he is. I always thought that bird was a meaning of something, but I, I think it's just atmosphere. Um, but yeah, I called the Badlands because in Digimon World 2003, there's a, a spot called the Badlands, and it has a really cool has really cool music. Um, so I really enjoy that music. Oh, I was gonna look up his edition to make uh, to see how far he was leveled on it. That's what I was gonna do. Um, but yeah, that song in the Badlands, if you guys haven't heard, uh, honestly, if you're a fan of video game, whoa, Madness Hero, I like that because it's really quick, I feel like I can probably, I don't know, I say that now and then it probably doesn't happen, but I feel like I can get that combination, like that addition, like, the way you have to like combo those buttons like bam 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 like down pretty easily but i don't know that wasn't too hard like one second but that that was i mean that's kind of crazy right uh let's look at that um let's see how many okay that's the last one no 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 he's gonna learn two more guys holy crap two more she's gonna learn one more he's gonna well i haven't used him at all um i'm gonna summon four gods so i'll do that uh, Gust of Wind Dance is at level 3. It does a ton of damage. And the SP isn't that great, but that's okay. And he still learns one more, too. And she learns a ton, too. I don't know why she hasn't learned at all, because it doesn't... It has nothing to do with, like, leveling. Or it has nothing to do with using them. It has to do with leveling. So she learns hers pretty late, I guess, because she, she still needs to learn, like, four more. We're already level 20. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you guys are a fan of uh, uh, video game music, like you don't have to be a fan of Digimon, right? It's it's not like it's it's Digimon specific music or whatever. But if you if you guys are a fan of like a little bit chip tuney as well, like a like a sixteen, like a almost like no, it's not really sixteen bit. But if you guys are interested in like cool video game music and you haven't heard the soundtrack to Digimon World two thousand three. Just look up, just look those up on YouTube. You can easily find those. Just, uh, uh, Digimon World 2003 soundtrack or OST or whatever. And uh, just listen to it. It's really, really good. Uh, and you will see a ton of people that comment on that as well. They'll just be like, man, that soundtrack was so good. Um, it's definitely something that's really, really good. All right, let's try this edition again. Oh, okay, that second... Second slash is not as early as I think it is. All the ones after that are. Oh, we should have seen her transformation. That's okay. Meh. Meh. Gust of wind dance. If I get it ten times. Oh, never mind. If I get it ten more times, then it's gonna level up. So. But it's so good, guys. It's so I like I'm making this video and I'm using like I downloaded so many of those songs and I'm like, yes, it is. It's just a really, really good song or like soundtrack. Really memorable and has a lot of like different things in there. A lot of them are like happy go lucky. You know, they like get you really pumped. Oh my god, remember this place? I feel like it's been ages since we've been in flats. Like, I feel like it's been like a month now that I've been here. I love this place and the music. It's so good. 
with the uh what are those drums called because i i remember seeing them these like weird like they're like -le 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 -le. like those are like types of drums i want to say that like um i don't know they just uh they're used for like you know you find them on like in video games for like beaches and like water levels they use those a lot but there's a name for them i forgot what that instrument is called but there if you guys haven't seen those if you guys have never checked those out if you find out what they're called if you look up and and you know you i, I don't know i don't know what you would look up like you could look up like any mario game because they use them in like the beach level and the water levels a lot in the newer mario games um and you can probably find the name of those um and just like look up what they look like because they look really cool and uh the way you play them like it looks really cool i remember watching a video on those because I, I wanted to know what that instrument was because i really like that instrument of how they like no i, I wanted to go heal prince's email is here oh everyone's like let's go no let's not go i wanted to heal up i'm still poisoned on two people all right whatever her graceful steps her daintly movement of the hands her gracious eyes she must be she's our princess email princess email is back i have returned after half year of sleep my father, King Zior, wouldn't say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the sinner who feigned to be me has harmed our people in Tiboro. I can say it is my fault, because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please do not blame yourself, your highness. Your returning only makes us happy. I owe you depth of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country continue. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I was going to be like, let us make this country great again. And I'm like, I can't. that's too controversial. I said it anyways, but uh, let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Oh, and there is that pregnant lady. You remember that? Yeah. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Email. May I ask you to name my baby, my soon to be born baby, Your Highness? It would be my pleasure. Mr. Magi. <laughs> How about... What? E I -E? I -E for girl and L for a boy? I think it's I E. They have the sound of a great energy and strength. Al? How's Al good for... What? what? They're beautiful names. I thank you very much, Your Highness. Imagine she would have... Like, if, I, if someone, God bless prin Princess Email, um, if she would have given me those names, I'd be like, I appreciate it, but I'm not gonna go with those. God bless Tiboro Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. Okay, this is kind of weird, because they're saying, like, God bless the princess and God bless Tiboro. They don't believe in a god, though. Their whole religion is based on the stars. They don't necessarily have a god, so... Uh, I, I don't know if that was like an overlook there or what. Um, all the best for the kingdom and us. Yeah, they don't really believe in like gods, right? They have like a church that that literally prays. Ah, Princess Email, how beautiful she is. Albert? Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Email. Is something wrong? Oh, oh. Oh, no. Where's Princess Email? You can meet her again in the castle. He's just like infatuated with her. Wow. Albert, what's going on? Got the hots for Princess Email? Alright, oh, heal me, yes. Oh. Ah, the spikes! You know, because the light has like spikes on it. <laughs> it's like right in my eye! Ah. Alright, um. <laughs> I'll stop. Um. But yeah, right? So it's like they have a church in here that, that praises the stars and all that stuff. Uh, and it's like... Okay, why are you saying God bless? Like, you don't believe in gods. You believe in, like, the cosmos and the stars and the moon and those... Oh my god. 
We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Ooh, and we get that cool song. Oh, I love the song, too. The soundtrack for this game is really good, too, guys. I like, and I, like I say all the time, uh, and I'll say it again, guys, for those of you that are maybe just jumping in here watching this. Sorry, I, I think I have to sneeze. I feel... <laughs> yep, there it is. Sorry, guys. Woo! Okay. I'm like, I felt it coming on, and I couldn't do anything about it. Ooh, sorry, guys. Woo. Uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. A game, you know, there's so many times where even a crappy game to me might be really fun and memorable if the soundtrack is really good. Like, the soundtrack and, and even, like, sound direction, like, sound effects and stuff are so important, and I feel like people don't put enough importance on you on those things like they'll be like oh yeah the music is really good but I'm like but it enhances the game by so much I feel like a game that doesn't have like if a game doesn't have a good soundtrack it needs to have really good gameplay and really good systems in place otherwise I'm not gonna be a fan like Dark Souls for example Dark Souls does not have like any music really it has like I don't know what like two songs maybe that play like throughout any like I, I've only played Tar Dark Souls 3, I will say that. So in Dark Souls 3, I've only heard, like, you know, there's a Firelink Shrine that has, like, a song or whatever. And it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty song, but it, it doesn't stand out to me where I'm like, oh, man, that's so memorable. Like, I could pick that up out of any, like, you know, if I hear it somewhere, I could totally hear it. But, like, and I know exactly what it is. But, uh, you know, if if Dark Souls didn't have good systems and, and you know, the, <clears throat> the way Dark Souls games are built... It's just to be frustrating, to be hard, but they're also very rewarding and stuff. Uh, and it's it's just, it challenges you to be like really good. Like if it wasn't that good, I don't think they would be good games because they're just missing like a good soundtrack for me. It's a very important thing to me um, for a game to have a good soundtrack. All the games that are to me memorable, that are nostalgic to me, that are, um, that I've, you know, that I love, they all have a good soundtrack. And I think, you know, we remember as, you know, the ones that are older now, we remember the games from back then. Um, and I think, you know, we remember them because of the music a lot of times, I think. Because anyone can hum the Mario's theme, right? Do 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 do, right? It's like anyone knows that song. Uh, you know, I love Yoshi's Island, for example, we've talked about this recently, and Yoshi's Island has an amazing soundtrack, right? I think people sometimes underestimate the power of music, in video games specifically. Sorry, I had to take a drink. But yeah, that was a rant I wanted to do. Um, and again, with this game as well. Um, oh, I, this is not right. Is this the right? No, this is the training area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I let's go back there for a second. Actually, I want to see because those two people remember how they were like training because they they betrayed. Wow, those boxes are still there. Uh, they felt like they betrayed the princess because of um, she got hurt because they didn't um, protect her during the horseback ride, and that's when she got switched out with Lennis. Um, yeah. Uh, they're gone. Like I guess she must have forgiven them, and said, "You guys don't have to do that. Go, go and live your lives. You know, don't, don't. You know, I'm not gonna blame you guys for it or whatever." All right, here we are, the king and the two princesses. Great to see them all. Like you know, all the chairs filled up, like that. So, <clears throat> heroes, forget about formality. You are the special guests of Tiburon. Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe and sound. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened, but until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only email. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon and infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiboro and brought smiles back to our people. However, the Moon Dagger has to be passed on to Princess Email. The Moon Dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. 
That is all the moon dagger can be. King Albert, we are satisfied with the ways with the way things turned out. Instead of the moon dagger, we found something else to hand down. That is the heroic story of you. It will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough formality. We're having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes it is. Cool, it's a party. A party for us. <clears throat> oh, Meru, behave. Oh, oh, Meru, behave and be quiet. <clears throat> I didn't do that. Man. Voice right. I'm not good with voice work, guys. I'm really not. I should take, like, a voice acting class. I really want to do that, but... You know, who has the time these days? Ha ha ha, she's cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Peace, please, peace. Please feel free to relax. Let us prepare for the banquet. <clears throat> so, Princess Emil and King Albert, guys. Let's go, what's going on there? It seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so, too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It is a good chance to relax. Mil so the country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. I'll be walking around till the party starts. Everyone else kind of like splitting up. Dude. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. You have to appreciate what everyone did. Why don't we go out, too? We get another... I, I guess we get another... Oh, they're get. Oh, look at this. This is a little balcony where we... This is... So this is in between the two... Um... Towers. Uh... Where this was where one of the guards was. Where we had to, like, sneak by or whatever. So that's, like, on that balcony up top. Uh... Oh, God. Okay, I didn't even see that text. Holy crap. Uh, I love you, Dart. <clears throat> Since I was little. It never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. What did it say? Like, space makes the heart grow fonder? Is that the saying? Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shauna. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I could be with you every day. That's just how I think. I... I don't think of you as my baby sister, Shauna. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, alright? Dard, welcome back! Who is this guy? Fester? Is that- is that- Yeah, it is. What's wrong? You have such a sour face! You- you think so? Anyway, you're famous in the city! A hero who defeated the dragon and descended down on Tibero! If you say so, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You're our, our uh, you're our time's latest hero. Um, by the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. Oh, they got interrupted. And a moment has passed. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> I knew it. Oh no. Oh, Mr. Dard, Miss Shauna, why are you here? We're waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Libria? I don't know who she is. Please get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. Dresses? We all always get dressed up now? Oh my god. Oh, Shauna's just like, I'm going to look for everybody. Oh, Wait. No, oh, the moment has passed. That's so sad. Yeah, so this is right here. So this is where they, apparently this guy disappeared. I don't know. Where. I know who Princess Email is in love with. Oh, if oh okay, he doesn't tell us. I was like, wow, okay. I did not expect that to come out of his mouth. Uh, I was gonna see if there's anything. There. You have even removed the danger from Elizabeth. You're Tiburo's heroes. This is a telescope. It's enormous. Oh, it is a telescope. I never realized that. This is a telescope. All right, where is everyone? Hello? 
Hello, where's everyone? Uh, maybe in here? Cause two, two, uh, Rose and Hash went in here. There's Rose. I'm a hero. He would laugh at me. <laughs> I laughed now. I did laugh. Since I've started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Oh, you're here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party. So, uh, she's kind of like, finally coming out of her shell. I don't know what the choker is. I guess the choker resembled something, um, maybe of uh, Zeig. Zeig was his name, I think. Um, the, uh, you know, the old red dragoon guy that passed away in 11,000 years ago uh, and ever since she since then she hasn't been um, she hasn't been like laughing or whatever just a peek is fine I want to see the party food we're not going to eat now we just want to sample the food that is eating come on please get out you're delaying the preparation <laughs> oh my god Hashel Hashel and Meru got the kicked out Mr. Dart please stop them Wars never chose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? Uh, the party is starting soon. You can eat as much as you want then, right? Is that true? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Please. I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go. All right, so we got the <laughs> that poor lady. She was just like, can you get these fuckers out of here, please? Okay, uh, we're missing Congo and Albert. Is that right? Oh, there's Congo. Okay. Congo has friends. Friends of different species. Not bad. Oh my god, whoa. Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party's starting. Oh, he was embarrassed. Oh, this lady. This is Libria. They're all beautiful dresses. I've never seen... Oh, no, no, no. The party's starting. Please find all of your friends as soon as possible. That's who that was. But they never gave her a name. And then all of a sudden they called her a name when she interrupted the... Uh, the lovebirds. Uh, where do I go? Where else do I go? Um... Because this just leads to the towers again. Maybe they're in the... T Wait, Albert... <gasps> Is Albert with Princess Email? Ooh. Um. But yeah, so everyone's kind of like... You know, yes, we have a lot of hardships and there's a lot of bad things that happen. You know, people are like Lavitz died. You know, it's like bad things are happening, but people, you know, we're also, we also got to see at the look at the positive things that are happening. Um, we're, you know, we're like Congo has friends now and he's happy about that. And uh, Rose, uh, she's, you know, she laughed and smiled uh, and stuff like she's, she's, slowly becoming like a happier person herself too so it, you know there's like a lot of great things happening with the group uh this was lisa's rooms a strong heart a passionate eye a fabulous man <sighs> oh dart how long have you been here how how may i help you Everyone is looking forward to attending the party tonight. Uh, of course I am too. Okay, I guess she's like... Was she looking for like a man in the stars? Because, you know, the, as we know, the princesses have like the power of the like... Uh, like using the stars or something to, to like predict things and stuff. To see, to see things that other people can and stuff. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go to Princess Email's quarters. 
And we shall see if Albert... Ooh, maybe we'll catch him in the act, guys. We'll turn this playthrough R-rated real quick. <laughs> no, it's gonna be just as awkward as like every every da uh, Dart and Shauna encounters. Would be cool if they sat on that balcony out there. That like with the grass and stuff on the left. Ah, I knew it. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No, please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the, s the sea and thinking his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, and what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down within the Sergio royal family, so I cannot tell you any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot go on. Oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> but I'm having a fabulous time. I don't notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. I knew it, you're here. Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You can simply say tonight. At the party. That's everybody. That it is. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, let's sort that out. Uh, maybe you should. Maybe I'm gonna swap out. Maybe I'll swap out. You know, we haven't seen Hashel in action. Let's do a little bit. Yeah, swap it up. By the way, she's saying something about dresses. Uh, she was saying, she, right? And they're just like, she. Why didn't they say Libria was saying something about dresses? But where should we go? We have to ask Libria about it. What do you mean? We've seen the dresses a bazillion times now. We've been into that room God knows how many times for no reason. There's never been anything interesting. I think there was a Stardust in there at some point, but... Uh, maybe, maybe there wasn't even one in there. There's never been a reason to go into that room, but... That's okay. We know where to go. But yeah, so, uh, Albert is in love, guys. That would be interesting, right? It would be like a royal family. Um, you know, him being being a king of one country and then she being a princess of another country. Like, if they were to marry, then that would be, like, really crazy, right? Sergio would be able to, like, you know, kind of rise back to power because, you know, after being split in two and, you know, having to deal with the emperor, um... Which, by the way, you know, the Emperor, uh, Emperor, which one was the first? Dole, Dole was the Emperor that we defeated, and he was the guy at the Black Castle. But they're talking about Emperor Diaz, who was the one 11,000 years ago. That's what Lloyd was talking about. Lloyd, in the last episode, Lloyd was talking about, like, uh, everything I'm doing is for Emperor Diaz. And we're just like, Emperor Diaz is dead. Like, he died 11,000 years ago in the Dragon Campaign. What are you talking about? So... Um, but yeah, Emperor Dole was the one that was like trying to, uh, that split the country of Sergio, uh, the continent of Sergio in like half. Uh, but now that, you know, and, and then King, King Albert leaves. So we don't even know what, what's going on in Sergio right now. Like who's taking over, who's ruling. I mean, we could, we could go there and find out, but who knows? Uh, ladies made Libya. It seems everybody's here. Miss Shana, Miss Rose, and Miss Mary, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Email and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. No thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. So Shauna is the only one that's going to get dressed up. Who would have thunk, right? <clears throat> Obviously, Rose is going to get dressed up. Those beds look so comfortable. Are you kidding me? Everything is ready. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Where was Ro where, where were the other girls? I thought they weren't going to dress up. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiburo, I think is what it says. Uh, please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. 
Oh my god, look at those like- Oh, and look at Meru dancing. Look at her. Oh man. And look at these! What is this? The perky dance by Mysterio is very entertaining. No, I want to talk to these guys. How about you, Dart? Would you join in the dance? Are you enjoying yourself? Let me hear about your great success story later. Dude, look at the... <laughs> the models of these dancers is just so funny. Oh, man. Great. Mr. Dart. <clears throat> Wait for us. Oh, God. Woman in red dress. You must be Mr. Dart. I'm dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear the story. your story, too. I'd like to know, know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. They're like fighting over him. Hashel, help out. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go enjoy yourself with Chana? At least tonight, you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. The time you are together, we're always together. Kongo, what do you have to say? He's eating that big piece of meat over there. What did you do sh to Shauna? Do? I didn't do anything. No, Shauna. No Shauna here. No? Oh, what happened? Congo tall. Congo doesn't see from here. Where is she? Let's look at Miro dancing. Are you enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun. Are you gonna dance too? I'll try. Let's try dancing, guys. I'll try. Right on. What is so cool? Where is Shauna? I don't know. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go! Oh my god, that's so cool! Miss Shauna should be here already. You're the star of the night. We're just serving as a backdrop. Yeah. Pretty oh, and look at what Albert is doing. Talking up email. I have to go to Mills' so with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Email. Well said. The future of Sergio and Tibero is shining like the sun. I I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the love grow deeper. Oh, well, there you go. I, I said kind of the same thing earlier. I cannot watch this anymore. What's wrong? You have a long face. If you're looking for Shana, she's not here. Why can't he watch that anymore? Well, but Mr. Dart. Oh, L Libria. Miss Rose needs you. This way. Okay. Well, we'll go in there in a minute. But uh, yeah, so uh, so the king the king agrees totally with these guys hooking up pretty much and, and you know kind of doing the marriage thing and combining the countries. Okay, Rose, what's up? Rose. Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. Look, guys! Shauna's all dressed up. Aww. She looks so cute. I love it. You look beautiful. Oh, aww. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Is Rose just gonna stand in the corner over there? It's kind of awkward. Aw, oh, look! A falling star. A lot of them. Not just one. I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish the same thing. Aww! They kiss, guys! Oh, it's so sweet. That's so sweet. Do you want to save? Oh, wait. Are we on, on disc three now? What's happening? Usually it does that when I have to switch the discs. Which uh, might be... <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do another short episode here, guys. Because I actually have to... Um... I, I don't have the disc ready yet, so I, I need to I need to do on some stuff. So uh, I guess I'm gonna cut this episode short as well. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know it's only like 
you know, it's only 45 minutes, so I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't I didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, but what I'm going to do is next episode, I'm going to do three this week for you guys. And the next episode, I'm going to go like an extra like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something. We'll go extra long with the next episode. So then we'll kind of even it out and I can kind of, you know, like I said, a lot of the episodes have been over an hour. So, um, yeah, so... You know, anyways, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm a Raleigh. I do stream here on YouTube every and, and Twitch as well, actually, uh, every um, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday at 930 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I do a lot of different things. I do Guild Wars 2 mostly, uh, but I also do Elden Ring and uh, I'm trying to do a couple more co-op streams uh, with my sister and some other friends uh, and we play like party games together and I want to do some Mario Kart and that sort of stuff um, and yeah and I do uh, I, I'm gonna try to make more videos as well on YouTube so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff uh, you can follow me uh, and subscribe hit that like button it would be really nice if you could do that uh, and uh, yeah and if you guys want to see anything particular is there like any games that you guys are interested in seeing me play through uh, just for the ones that don't know uh, I do have a couple more playthroughs planned for this year I will be doing uh, Child of Light uh, and then uh, the Child of Light and then uh, Crusader of Senti uh, both of them being RPGs from completely different era eras and actually being uh, you know they're they're RPGs but they're but they're you know the child of light being a recent uh, you know recent quote unquote um, indie game and then having Crusader of Senti which was from the Sega Genesis time like way long ago um, but both being really good games uh, and then I've talked about Silent Bomber as well which is something that I would like to play through as well so uh, hopefully I will get those done this year but uh, so look forward to those but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys